When we're talking about logical absolutes, um, and in particular my contention that taking logical absolutes too absolutely can lead to totalitarianism, I want to clarify why I consider that an objection to the um, logic is absolute argument. Um, I'm not saying that because absolute logic can lead to totalitarianism, we must not have absolute logic. <laughs> um, that is kind of the same kind of fallacy that I, I don't know, s somewhat um, impute to the logical absolutists, if we can call them that. Uh, no, not at all. What I'm saying is, the idea that logic is absolute places it above that which developed it. Um, I'm not absolute, I am finite. If I believe that something is infinite or something is fundamentally real, then it's more real than me. Um, therefore, that reality sort of trumps any reality that's attached to me. Um, so something that I developed as a tool has become, in a sense, not just a tool, it's become a reality. And a reality that has more value than little old me. That's the thinking that I object to. It isn't that I'm afraid of what happens because, um, or what happens when we make logic absolute. Um, that's not really the issue because saying that, okay, logic leads to totalitarianism is unfortunately not an, argue against, an argument against logic. It's not, a, <laughs> you know, um, that still doesn't mean that we must then throw logic down the sink. What I'm saying is, um, when you start off with this idea that logic is absolute, you've already, from the get-go, placed it above human beings. That is what leads to totalitarianism, not absolute logic itself. It's just the absolute validity and applicability of what is ultimately nothing more than a tool to help us make sense of reality.